Hey guys, it's Jay, West Coast Tarot. I just wanted to hop on here and do really a really fun reading. Um, this is one of my most requested you know, readings or most um, asked questions about my channel. So I'm ready to put it all on the table and keep it 100 with you guys. And this is why I don't show my face on camera. So I'm ready to get into it. Um, I think like months ago, it could have been a year, a long time ago, I shared um, La Divination's video and I completely agreed with a lot of her points about why she doesn't show her face and she's a very gorgeous person and um, you know some readers show their face some don't and whatever you do it's all good I love it all Um, you know if you're a reader let me know comment below your stance and you know why you do or why you don't and how you feel about it and you know um, people watching this video tell me what you think too do you prefer when someone shows their face do you just like to see the the cards or do you like a hybrid you know an in between uh, in between because um there are some readers who never show their face like the like Isabel at the Tarot Empress she is amazing and she will read your life in 10 minutes <laughs> she never shows her face um there's readers like Aqua Moonlight she's gorgeous she never really shows her face and then you have um you know people who show their face like Tyler at Tyler's Tarot and he is amazing as well and he does kind of a hybrid he shows his face but he will show you the cards and, you know, there's a lot of people who do and don't. And to me, it has really nothing to do with, like, your looks or anything like that. Because a lot of the readers are just amazingly gorgeous. Like, Scorpio Gypsy Tarot. I'm giving everyone a shot at, what's up? What's up? <laughs> um, Angela Mystic Moon. Okay, who else can I say? Oh, Destiny's Guidance of Love. Like, I'm going to shout out all the people. So... I just want to make sure that you guys know that everyone does what they want to do. It's their channel. And so I want to, you know, just keep it real with myself and why I do, why I don't. And you guys, I'm keeping it so real. So please do not judge me. I'm going to tell you exactly why. So the first, some are serious, some are more funnier. So um, I'm not going to, I'm not really that much of a video editor. I don't know how to edit my videos on YouTube. So it's not going to be all thrills. You're, this is what you're going to see. Okay. So this is more of like a listen in video. So the number one reason, and these are not really in any order I just wrote them down but is I don't show my face because of my job as many of you know I just do YouTube on the side you know I spend um, my day working at my eight-hour job you know usually so I do my 40 hours I'm on the clock 24 7 as an exempt manager and anything that I say or do outside of my job can be used against me and I have a lot of people um, that are underneath me, a lot of people that I support, and um, I don't work with the best people, and I'll tell you that right now, I have to, you know, I'm very, um, I live very, not spiritually, but I live by the mantra, like, you know, treat others how you want to be treated, and I try to live my life with integrity or try to be honest with people, but I work with people who are not of the highest vibration, you know, I have one staff member who has created so many issues with me, and um, I really believe she has a demonic attachment. I can see it in her eyes that I feel like she's possessed. And um, I always have people coming after me or making up things or lies. And, you know, I have to just always remain um, in character. So I don't even let people know at my job, um, you know, about this YouTube channel. I really try to protect this. Um, you know, my friends and family, everyone knows about it and, can, and supports me. But um, at my job, I just want to keep that separate. So just be aware that I do have people who watch everything that I do um, that are not really positive and they can be very nasty. And I have a lot of good people at my job too. Um, but there are, you know, some really cutthroat people that are just trying to move up on the ladder. So I keep this separate. Um, I don't want people seeing my face and then seeing me at work and then just spreading the rumor or, oh, you know, she does tarot cards or she's a witch. You know, I'm a Christian, but it's still taboo to this day, which really is kind of sucky, you know, but you got evil people in church and you got um, kind people that don't go to church. So you just got to take it you know, as it is. But that is one of the number one reasons I would say is my job. I don't want people knowing about this and I'm trying to protect it. And when I transfer out of this department, I might go to like a hybrid where maybe sometimes I will be on camera, sometimes I won't be on camera. Um, but we will, you know, I'll take it from there. <laughs> um, you know, another reason, number two, I'm human. You guys, I'm so human. So you know, if you see me hanging out the bar, you know, or the nightclub, you know, when they finally open up again, you know, um, every once in a while, I do like to go out. I like to go to a nightclub or a bar, or, you know, um, 
I don't want to people to say, well, you know, she's fake as hell because she is talking about, you know, love and light and this and that. And she's like drinking or partying. Yeah, I like to get down. I like to party. Um, I like to have my life. I don't do it very often, but sometimes I need to, you know, just most recently, I think the last time I usually go out like a couple times a year. I really don't get to go out that much. And I went out to a nightclub in January to celebrate my girl's birthday and 11 of us arrived and only 10 of us left and one got arrested and I'm keeping it 100 right now. You know, I don't want people saying, oh, I recognize that girl from West Coast Tarot, you know, whoop do a boop or then the police trying to contact me or about what happened or what went down. And, you know, I don't want to be held accountable as a public figure. Okay. I just want to live my life. I want to go to the grocery store without makeup on. If I'm at the habit or in and out burger stuffing my face with a huge cheeseburger, I'm living my life. You know, I am, you know, myself and I just want to make sure that I'm not being held accountable to a different standard. You know, I'm no different than any one of you. And, you know, I, if I cuss at someone in traffic or flip someone off. I don't flip them off, but occasionally I do honk my horn and I will tell someone off. I'm, I'm down for that. Um, I'm human, so I just don't want to be judged, okay? <laughs> um, number three, I would say, oh, you guys, my hands look like man hands on camera. I don't know why, but my camera makes my hands look so huge and so ugly. And so I'm like, I don't want to show my face. Imagine how big my head would look. Um, you know, my hands look like a, a man hand or ginormous. Like, oh my gosh, my, my face is going to be so huge on camera. So I really just don't want to show my face on camera. Um, you know, it's really all about the cards to me. You know, I like another reason. Number four, um, to me, it's all about the cards. You know, it's about the message on the cards. I like you guys to see, you know, the the balances of the cards, you know, and a lot of you know, I do things in threes usually. And and because that's my life path number and to me it's about the holy trinity um and so that's what i do things in three for myself but if i want you to see the balance like as an example you know this is someone releasing a negative situation going towards personal growth and choosing happiness so sometimes it's all about the balance so i really want you guys to see the combinations because to me it's easier for you to understand you know so i really like you guys to see the combinations um so it really to me it is about the cards but like i said i'm not knocking people who it is you know they show their face or then that's what they want to do that's what they want to portray and that's perfectly fine um everyone can do what they want to do on their channel and um that's about free expression you know free creativity um another issue is okay so i believe in the power of the eyes so number five it really comes down to the eyes. I don't really like to, uh, you know, you just ever make eye contact with people. You know, I try to be very careful with who I do look in the eyes or, I mean, it's different if I'm doing an interview or if, you know, I'm talking with someone um, about something very important, but I'm like talking about like um, being careful with who you look in the eye or who you like, let's say you're out on a date. You don't want to just look in someone's eyes and entirely because sometimes it's like you don't want to just like let them see into you or who you are. Because to me, it's like eyes are the window into the soul. And I don't want to go under a psychic attack. You know, I don't want to go under a spiritual attack. Um, I like I'm very protective of my energy. Um, I am very careful when I open myself up to people. And um, like I said, I I told you guys earlier, I do have one employee who I feel like definitely has a demonic attachment. And, um, you know, when I'm disciplining her, uh, going down the disciplinary road with her, um, I know she has sent negative energy my way because people just, you know, hold on to that um, negative energy. Sooner or later, it's going to, all their negative feelings or the darkness within is going to come towards you. It's going to be released towards you. So I just really try to protect myself. And I don't want anyone sending any negative or toxic energy my way, okay? Um, number six, I swear to God, half the time I'm doing your guys' readings, I don't have a bra on. I take my bra off as soon as I get home. Like, I just want to be comfortable. I just want to, like, wash my makeup off. Um, you know, I'm starting waist training and stuff. And so if I'm, like, looking uncomfortable and I can't breathe, I don't want you guys to see the miserableness on my face. Like, I'm just trying to get through the videos and just try to get through the readings. And I just don't want people to look at my face or, you know, it's just... It's not about that to me. It's just like, I just want to relax. I want to be comfortable. If I put my hair up in a bun or something, I just want to make sure that I'm comfortable so I can, you know, put all that energy and that relaxation will go towards, you know, your reading. Um, 
And number seven, people are just crazy. And not my, you know, not the most of you, just like that 0.01% that ruin it for all of you. And you guys know what I mean. There's those people, every single tarot reader has to say, you know, this is a general reading. You know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Something like that. That's what I say. And the reason we have to say that repetitive disclaimer over and over and over again is because of that crazy 0.01%, okay? They act like it's their personal reading for them or no, you are wrong. He loves me or, you know, no, honey, he's using your ass. He doesn't give a fuck about you. Like seriously, like you guys need to just be aware that there are crazy people. And even like my personal clients, there are people that I didn't like them initially or um, out of the thousands of private readings that I've done, there's been two that I will never forget that I just felt very uncomfortable doing their reading um, I felt one person was very abusive and I just didn't like his energy or his vibe. And if he were to reach out to me again, he's automatic cancellation. And, um, there's another person too, who I felt was just, you know, I didn't know initially yet looking at her questions that it seemed normal. But once she got her reading, she was like, no, he loves me. And it's like, no, honey, he has another person he's giving to the situation. You know, he, nothing here is showing me that he loves you, but you're helping him financially and you're, you're talking bad about everyone in his life and you're not realizing that it's him that's the problem okay so if you're gonna sit and defend someone who's not treating you how you should be treated then you don't deserve my time so realize that people are crazy and I don't want someone you know that's another reason why I don't really say my real name I don't want people knowing my real name I don't want someone googling me and finding my address and then trying to stab me because I told you what the card said and not what you wanted to hear I told you what it really said and not what you wanted to hear because I don't I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you if I know someone's lying to you they're lying to you okay so I don't want crazy people coming after me and you guys know that there are crazy people there and um, you know people will spin a minute of their life to go and write a negative comment in someone's channel. That's really pathetic. So I just don't want the crazies coming after me. And you guys know what I mean. Um, we've all been like that. You know, we've all had people come after us or there's been times where I felt like someone was watching me and you know, it is what it is. And that's another reason why I don't even say what my sign is. I don't want people to know my sign. I've been accused of being every sign like you must be a Sagittarius because you're only siding with a Sagittarius or you're a Gemini. And I was like, I am not telling you guys what I am because I treat you all the same. <laughs> so even my own sign, my my sun sign, my moon sign, like everything, I, I try to be honest with all of you guys, though it is what it is, you know? So I just wanted to kind of um, chime in and tell you, like, what are some of the reasons that I don't show my face? I am probably forgot a bunch of them. There's probably more. I think there is more, and I just didn't. I don't remember what they are, um, but it, the list just never ends, and it's just, you know, I don't want my crazy neighbors looking after me or, you know, just, you know, my children. I don't want to take my children to school, and then um, they're like, oh, that's her mom, you know, oh, I think she does witchcraft because she does tarot cards, and it's like, really? Get a life, seriously. Um, you know, people are just so judgy, and people think they're better than one another, and the truth is it, it comes down to you're going to be held accountable at the end of the day on how you treat people. You are going to be judged by the creator. You're going to be judged by God. So don't worry about what other people think of you um, and just live your life, you know. And I I do have to worry about what people think of me at my career. But again, I might be open to switching to like a hybrid, um, you know, channel where maybe sometimes I show my face or I, do, I actually do share pictures sometimes of myself on my story. So that's the thing. I don't mind just doing a quick picture of me on my story. Um, but as far as the videos are going, like I just until I feel like I'm in a safe place and I transfer out of my department, I got to really limit things because I don't work, like I said, with the highest vibrational people. Um, you know, I work with people who lie or I feel like they have no soul and I'm just not like that. And that's why I just want to get out of this department pretty soon. Maybe I want to stay with the same company, but I really am looking at other departments to transfer to. So hopefully when this COVID thing, um, stops, you know, um, if it ever stops, we're thinking of another surge right now. Um, 
and people start posting more positions, I can definitely transfer out. So my fingers are crossed. But you guys, comment below. Don't forget to like. Tell me what you prefer. Do you prefer people that show their face or do you prefer someone who just shows the cards? Or, you know, what are reasons, like I said, like you don't show your face? Or what is your, your position on it if you are a reader? I would love to know that. So, um, like I said, I will catch up with you guys later. If you want a personal reading, all that information is down below. I wish you guys love and light always. And I will talk with you later. Take care.